Hi, I'm Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. I'm sitting with Ram Das and being and talking about um, feeling and love. And, and there's always been a way you used your life as an example for spiritual teachings. It, it, it's been easy for you. Well, when I met my guru, uh, the second day, he said, do you know Gandhi? I said, no, I don't know Gandhi. I know of him. So he said, um, you should be like Gandhi. <laughs> and I started to study Gandhi. And so they for, at first, I those little glasses, mm -hmm. I bought those. But that didn't help. That doesn't make me Gandhi. But uh, um, I read a quote. He said, my life is my message. Mm. And that one, I am like Gandhi. Uh. In my life is my message. Mm. And it's a great, great uh, philosophy. Because you, you look at your life and say, what is the message here? <laughs> you know, and I, my message seems to be um, compassion, um, uh, living with su suffering, mm. um, love with, uh, with honesty. Mm. It's probably the reason why uh, people do look to you as a teacher of, um, of, of, of a psychological spiritual nature. It's like um, you're not a perfect person, and that makes oh it even, even more powerful, the honesty about your life. <laughs> this is an... Uh, um, I, I lectured in the past few de days, and I <clears throat> I had been down to um, John of God um, in Brazil. He was a healer, and I heard that they had a, a closet where they had canes and wheelchairs and so on. Who had been left? Be oh, because they'd been healed. They left their old wheelchairs and canes. So, in California, before going down there, I had my new wheelchair and my old wheelchair. The old wheelchair very rickety. Right. So I couldn't decide which to take. Because the rickety one, we'd be happy to. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't want to leave you if in case you ended up walking. But see, <laughs> but see, and I took the wheel, new wheelchair. Oh, yeah. It showed how little faith, little faith I had in the healing. Because if you took the new, the old wheelchair, you would have. Um... I would have. I would have. Uh, would have. Seeing that the the healing is oh, my leg all over. So, wh where does that show that part of you that still doesn't have the faith? I mean, you've done so much in your life, and faith is just my faith is absolute with Maharaji, with Ma, with my guru. Um, this was a new scene uh -huh. uh, about the, a, a medium healer bringing down entities from the astral. Uh -huh. um, and I didn't know until I got there how spiritual that scene was. Uh -huh. And I couldn't imagine that it would be like Kenshi, uh -huh. Maharaji, Maharaji Singh, yeah, yeah. and 
though that crying yeah the crying yeah it was spiritual and once i i felt the spiritual nature of the scene then i would have brought the, the other wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> You know, you always talk about your guru, and it's people think of Maharaj or a lot of these saints as, as a, not just another person. You know, he there's something about the guru that yeah. that I'm trying to understand. Well, the difference between a teacher and a guru: yeah. a teacher points the way, like th that's the way to enlightenment, and the guru brings you into enlightenment because he or she heart is in 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 they're enlightened they're 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 in the space of enlightenment they're not real people though this is what i'm trying to they're not yeah they are real people that, that uh, we have three consciousness planes we're on we human beings yes. and we each identify our e our our i with one of those planes mm -hmm. maharaji was identified with the third plane mm -hmm. and i am i was when i met him I was identified with the first plane, the ego, yeah. and he brought me forth. He brought me up to my my uh, soul because that's the second. Be, be, because heart to heart uh, resuscitation. <laughs> he resuscitated my heart. Because that's the thing about when you meet someone so loving, yeah, and so full of uh, an eminence, yeah. yeah. It's he, he just opened, opened my heart. He opened my heart, and 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 opened my heart to God within. That's the number three. <laughs> God within. And continues and, to. Yeah, but I am... Number two is uh, the soul. The soul has God within it. But the soul still is separate from God. Right. And he moved me from identification with ego to identification with soul. Mm -hmm. And the, which is a basic um, a basic a shift in world view. Yeah. And that's the that's what our what our our sadhana our yeah, pra spiritual practices do. They move us to the soul level. Yeah, and they they, they move the perceptual the perceptual point because I could see this scene as a ego. And I also the scene as God view mm -hmm. as this scene. But so when we one says one spiritual, we have to be able to be able to split our consciousness as ego 
and 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 soul soul and the becoming soul um, merging with, with with the all is two and one yeah one of those two and ego mm -hmm. makes it a spiritual dance mm -hmm. like um, Krishna said to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita he said do what you do in your life but keep me in mind mm -hmm. and very uh, it's very hard to do your actions social actions and keep keep in mind the guru or the god like i uh, my actions are like flowers at my guru's feet mm. I, I i work with my actions it's like it's like whatever you you do in the world is is for the benefit of this god essence is that i mean yes for, for it's all all your all your life all your incarnation is benefits your soul in its journey to the one and it doesn't matter if you're robbing a bank or begging chain or well, teaching. you if, if you hurt somebody, yeah. hurt somebody, hurt the, hurt their chances of saying mm -hmm. seeing God. Mm -hmm. You're not going to put that flower on your uh, on your girl's feet. We we and we all know what's right. I mean, all deep down know the truth and and the right yeah. and right behavior. And God, yes. we all know God basically is like we all know what the right action. There's awfully tyranny from um, right and wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, take the difference between um, Christ consciousness and Christianity. Right. Christianity, right and wrong, the, the dualistic. Right. And Jesus. Jesus was merged with his father. Mm -hmm. And you get that presence. Mm -hmm. That presence. But, you know, I, it, don't you think doing psychedelics opened the uh, uh, avenue up? Or, I mean, because, you know, we're such, you know, um, narrow minded in the West that sometimes have to be hit over the head. I mean, was that in your case? Sure. It, it hit me over the head. <laughs> and I was a I was a social scientist. A, a smug social scientist. A smug as to how we used science to to understand our lives hmm. and that was the, that was the wrong religion for me but most people don't know that I mean most people will never know that and you, you it, it might it took mushrooms <laughs> to for me to know that and then there was no going back no no Av before mushrooms I would go to the library and I'd see these old books of, of, of uh, religion and yes. spirit, things like the Vedas and stuff like that. I would never even open them. It was superstition now, or something. And then the mushrooms, they were, those books were, ah. Uh, I, I I yearn for them because they were maps of my consciousness 
the Eastern people had the maps of consciousness. Mm -hmm. The Tibetan and Hindu. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's about being. It's like these maps connected you to your original self and, and what you started to feel from what yeah. you've taught and, and, and for the last, th is, is your being that you're still having to correct and discipline. Oh, and still correcting. <laughs> still correcting. But it's the being. It's the being that was Richard Albert at Harvard, was, you know, Baba Ramdas in the 60s, that's that you in this condition. That, that being is, is the same. It's the same. That was number three. The, the awareness, the awareness of all of it, the awareness is the same. All of it doesn't, all is changing. Uh -huh. But the awareness, which is being, is I don't think it cha it's changeable. No, it's. The I think the in the place you go to is is that place inside which does not change. That's that's what I see when I look at you. You know, I see the condition, the exterior condition. Yeah, this Ch thing. That's changed. That means the body. Yes. yes. And then whatever light that, that, I saw that in my father as he got sick through the years, you know, for, and eventually wasn't able to speak. There was a piece of the light that came out of him that was the same from when, you know, I first knew but him. My, my father, in, in, I saw the light in him when, his, when he was dying, but... Um, the light was, in his earlier life, the light was under a barrel. I mean, his, his light was, his light was, um, was covered by his ego. Mm. But you still saw it, right? Didn't it well, still, I mean? Well, I, uh, he and I were locked in, in ego. Uh -huh. Uh, dramas, right? Father and son. Right. Mm. Yeah. But then you ended up having so much love for him, you know. Yeah, yeah but I, but, but before the mushrooms, right? I did not have love for him because we were locked in the father-son drama. Mm. And all we could see was, was that. Mm -hmm. And uh, only when I was taking care of him, ninety, ninety-five. He, he, he was ninety. Mm -hmm. um, did I finally see? The light in in him, the true being, the true yeah. essence. Yeah. Mm. See, because he was identified with his ego. Mm. See, the Ma Maharaji, my guru, was identified with the God part of us, mm -hmm. and so I saw that in him. I saw the light in him. But isn't it the job of us here to look? Yes. I think you know, our job is love everybody and see the love and light in everybody. But sometimes the hardest ones are family. Yeah. Uh, father or mother or anything. Yeah. They've such 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 um, such melodrama. In, in those relationships. Yeah, they trigger us and they... Yeah. 
they actually form our personality in a sense. Yeah. You know, our reaction yeah. to our parents creates the That's armor right. of the personality. That's right. Because their parents, only in this life, they may have been our children in past lives. Yeah. And we're getting very, they're getting close. The two souls are closer and closer and closer and closer through each incarnation. Mm. You were my mother, that and that. Let's see what happened. Next time, I was your father, and then you can go. Yeah. And you can go incarnation, incarnation. And the reason for that is to, I guess, find the love through the hardest, the hardest relationship that we could imagine is to keep finding the lesson of love. I feel that um, the the two lessons that that um, that this incarnation has allowed me to learn lessons about suffering and about love. Mm. This plane is is the suffering plane. Mm. But it's the joyful plane also. Yeah, but sure, the other planes have joy. <laughs> but this one has has the suffering. Mm. Buddha Buddha he came from his enlightenment in Bodhgaya, and when he sp spoke, he the first tr truth he spoke. There is suffering, mm. Mm. and then later truths, he talked about how you could get rid of suffering. Mm. Just there is suffering in this world. This. You look at someone like Maharishi, Ma Mahar your teacher, your guru, yes. who, who apparently was in bliss, and it seems like his teaching was when you're in the moment, when you're being, there is no suffering in this moment. It he said, he said, um, in, he said of himself, in my life, any suffering brings me closer to God. Mm. That's, the, that's a flip mm -hmm. from we generally we 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 think of suffering as negative. Yeah. Yes. And he taught, yeah. And how is that? It brings you close, because somehow you see it's an illusion, the, 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 the world? Well, suffering usually, um, yeah, because suffering is usually, um, is usually heralded with, by change. Mm. And people don't like change. <laughs> Egos don't like change. So the ego only suffers. Own, only. Only the ego suffers. Only. <laughs> God doesn't suffer at our suffering. Mm. That's that sounds. No, I, I think that's true. God doesn't suffer. I I when when I had the stroke. It was so painful. Not my body was pain. There was certain ego stuff like um, dependency and independence and things like that. There were changes that uh, that were there were for suffering from my part. And the 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 major suffering. Um, that the stroke uh, 
brought about is separation from my guru. Because <laughs> before the stroke, I was um, luxuriating in my guru's, his, his grace, uh -huh. his grace. And then the stroke came and and the stroke he couldn't have given the stroke to, see I had him and me dialoguing around my drama right. I mean, he, he some of my drama he gave me to advance me. Mm -hmm. So then I couldn't figure out the stroke. Why he would give you that. Yeah. So I finally said the stroke is 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 fierce grace. Mm -hmm. And it's like like a surgeon plunges a knife mm. into your heart, which is certainly graceful, but somebody else might plunge a knife into the, it won't be graceful at all. But, but what did he teach you by this? What was the lesson? It was a lesson of fierce grace. Mm. It was the lesson of giving up that power role in society mm. and still being able to share Dharma from a, a, a dependent role. Mm. Share your essence, your life, your. Yeah, your the shared God. Mm. 